Welcome, in front of me is a Dodgy X97 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So to get started, uh, you can obviously see that in my case the phone is locked, it's telling me to draw the verification pattern to verify it. I could also use a Google account instead, assuming I don't know my pattern, but we're assuming I don't know either of those. So. In this case, I'm going to be just guiding you on how you can remove this protection from the device without providing anything. So, uh, one thing that we'll need is just an internet connection. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure most of you have this considering you're watching this video. So, simply connect your device to the Wi-Fi. I have already done so, as you will be able to see here just in a second. There we go. Connected. Now, once you are connected, uh, back out to the first page. And from here, we're going to select Vision Settings. And we're going to select Talkback and we're going to enable it. Talkback on. Welcome to Talkback. Welcome to Talkback, page one of five. I do recommend uh, turning it down as far as you can. It is pretty loud and obnoxious and could be, at least to me, as absolutely distracting. So I do like to turn it down. Unfortunately, there is no way to actually turn it off. So you will always hear some kind of talk back happening in the background. But disregarding that, once you see this page right here with the welcome to talk back, it's gonna be selected with this green outline around it. And all you need to do is just to draw on a screen a mirrored L like this. This will bring up this uh, window right here, allow Android accessibility suit to record audio. We're gonna double tap on the first selected option. Uh, the green outline just shows what's selected. Uh, so just to kind of clarify this, when TalkBack is enabled, uh, this, the way the device works is now when you tap on something, you will select it instead of actually confirm it. So when it's, once it's selected, you need to double tap on it to actually confirm it. So from here, we're going to select use of voice comments. And before you double tap on it, uh, I'm going to just quickly mention what we need to say to the device. This will need to be verbally told to the phone uh, because it will enable or uh, turn on uh, the voice commands, basically. So when you double tap on it, you will probably hear a beep. Uh, I mean, in your case, if you didn't turn down any kind of sounds, you most certainly will. Uh, I did turn down talkback, so it could affect affected but you will still be able to see uh, by the green indicator in the corner that the device is activating microphone so anyway that being said uh, we're gonna say um, just quickly check we will be saying open Google Assistant and then open YouTube so first thing open Google Assistant you'll hear a beep you want to say that then you'll hear two more beeps one that accepts your voice command and then the other one is for Google Assistant now waiting for the voice command at which point you want to say open YouTube so anyway I'll just go through it and you can see and hear how I'm doing it now that being said if in your case maybe you have a like a really thick accent you could play me back uh, through speakers to the device and hopefully that would work uh, because I know my voice is detected by the device even though I do also have an accent anyway so Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Okay, so now that YouTube is open, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Press and hold both volume keys for three seconds to use talk. I'm gonna select turn on and then hold both of them once more. And this will now turn off TalkBack, allowing us to use the display in a normal way like we are used to. So from here, we're gonna navigate to the account uh, by tapping on this account icon right here. Then we're gonna go into, into settings. There is an about button right under this freaking thing. There we go. It's just. There we go. Uh, we need to tap on that. That's why I just selected view. Uh, for some reason it was blocking me and I couldn't scroll down. So from here, select about and then Google privacy policy, accept and continue and no thanks. 
Once your browser loads in, you want to navigate to hardresetit.info slash bypass. So basically right over here. Now, if you need a moment to copy this link yourself, once you see it, do pause the video. In here, we're gonna simply scroll down, just let's give it a second, it's gonna pop up. This annoying pop up right here. So let's consent and then scroll down. And we're looking for this right over here, the settings app. Simply click on an Im image and it will open up the app itself. And from here, we will now navigate to Intelligent Assistance. Actually, we do need to do one thing first. So let's actually do that before we go here. So we're gonna navigate to Apps, All Apps, tap on the three dots and select Show System. And we're looking for Android Setup as the first thing. So there we go, Android Setup, I'm gonna select it. Select for Stop and OK, then go back. Next thing we're looking for is Google Play Services. So we're just gonna scroll down, C, E, F, G, O, G, uh, Google, his services. There we go. Click on it. Here we're going to select disable, disable app, and for stop and OK. So we have now disabled two apps. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go back once more and once more. And now we're going to go to that section right here, intelligent assistance, and we're looking for. Accessibility, which is right at the bottom. Accessibility Mini, and you want to turn it on. Allow. Got it. So, now that I have disabled the two apps, the system setup and the play services, and I enabled the Accessibility Mini, we can now go back to the setup. So just start pressing the back button. Stop. There we go. So we're gonna keep on backing out. There we go. And we are, as you can see, in on the first page of the setup. So from here, we're gonna just progress through the setup as we did before, most likely. Select don't copy. And right now it should give us this message right here, checking for updates gives us uh, just a sec and goes back to checking for updates. This is uh, where you would normally have it load your verification page, but because we have disabled Google Play services, it cannot connect to them. Uh, therefore, just kind of gets stuck on here. So what we need to now do is interact with this accessibility menu, which we have added. And you want to select Assistant and settings might appear right here. As you can see, nothing happened for me right now, so I'm just gonna keep on repeating it. Now, once the setting actually opens, it will be the setting page for Google Play services, which we have turned off. And what you want to do in there is simply enable them. Now, you do need to be kind of quick about it. As you can see, it does kind of close it up. Uh, now, it doesn't even want to open it up at the moment. There we go. So I managed to enable it. Once it's enabled, as you can see, it changes then the button to disable, but it is enabled right now. So we're gonna now go back once. Uh, once it pops up the overlay for Google Assistant, just click somewhere on the screen to get rid of it. And as you can see, we are now on the next page. We completely skipped the portion for verifying our device, the pen pattern password or Google account, and it just automatically proceeded to the next page. So from here, we're just gonna finish up the setup. Now, at the moment, you don't want to just do any kind of like special setup for the device, just 
select whatever is quickest for you. It at the moment doesn't matter what we choose anyway, because we will need to reset the device at uh, once we get access to the home screen anyway. So skip as much as you can. And as you can see, this takes us to the home screen. So from here, uh, last step that we need to take to fully unlock the device is navigate into the settings. We're gonna now scroll all the way down to system, reset options, and then select erase all data, factory reset. I'm gonna select erase all data and press on the erase all data once again. This will perform obviously a factory reset of your device, but when it's being done through settings, like I'm telling you to do right now, once the device is actually set up, uh, this process forces the device to unlock it. So it basically forces it to remove the previously used Google accounts and screen locks and all that stuff. Uh, therefore, it's fully unlocking the device. Uh, if it wants it or not, it's going to be at the end uh, fully unlocked. Now. Once the process is finished, you will be taken again back to the setup of your phone, but at that point, you can set it up in whatever way you want. It will be fully unlocked at that point, so you can skip whatever you want or add your Google accounts and all that stuff as you would wish to do so at well, basically a brand new device because it will be acting as such. So there we go. Just make sure you do the reset of it and that basically finishes up the setup. Now, I'm not gonna go through it on a video just because factory reset is just a lot of black screen and from there you take into the setup at which point the device is already fully, fully unlocked so there is not much more for me to show you just like I said erase all data and you're good to go now with this being said if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching